The early algebra project's goal is to show an early introduction to algebra makes a difference for later algebra learning. When we as adults or adolescents are taught algebra, we're taught to write down expressions algebraically and then operate directly on them. Young children can't do that. If, you, if I were to tell you that Robin had a certain amount of money, would you be able to figure out how much Mike had? They're going to use algebra to capture the reasoning that they've done through other means. And this is Maria's box. Math isn't just about numbers. Sometimes math is a graph, sometimes it's an idea, sometimes it can be a story and you're looking at it in a different way. Mm -hmm. Then I got to 15, uh -huh. and then I took away, and I went to back to 14, 13. Algebra and arithmetic are not really that separate. It's about digging deeper into the mathematics. Early algebra is really fundamental because it gives children the space and time to explore ideas and functional thinking. Part of the trick is to have problems that make sense to kids that are thinking about particular numbers and particular events and stories and moving towards okay. this mathematics which is about variables. I know he's got one little guy right on top. Is there a way to show what he has? That's the leap from arithmetic to algebra. So we need to come up with some sort of representation to show what John has and what Maria has. What are some different types of I think the kids were able to understand that they could use a letter to represent an unknown amount. If there's N candies inside of that box, is there a way to show how much candy she has all together? We all realize they have the same number of candies in each box, mm -hmm. and N stands for the number of candies, which is the same. If they're willing to accept the idea that the letter N or K or whatever could stand for all those possibilities. So they're really getting a basic tool. I'm really not too good enough. That's my weakest subject right now. But I, I think this algebra camp helped me in ways that I really didn't know that it can help me. We started a summer camp where we can teach experimental and control group kids more algebra and then examining the impact of that on their understanding. We started by first thinking about what the algebraic ideas were. It's algebraic notation, graphs, tables, being able to interpret problems when they are expressed in natural language as well. We wanted them to really engage with a lot of different people in the classroom and to have to do that work of communicating mathematics. So basically you're saying it's open seven now? No, it's it not does seven, matter. it's 20. Lissat, can you explain it? The A and the y-axis, they go down by two. For every change in x, there is a change in y. If there were certain concepts that it seemed like a class didn't understand, then it was important for us as the research team and the design team to be able to factor that in. I was like connected, connected. The kids that we had worked with in elementary school, we did see differences in the quality of the ways in which they approached problems, even new problems that they had never been exposed to. you never seen this before, have you? No. I've never seen this before. How many less? It is always such a pleasure to see how these tiny little kids, now they have grown up. I don't think they touch, but I'm not sure if they're parallel. I was very surprised when we showed them the footage of themselves. They were surprised by how smart they were. We knew that N was a variable and it stood for something else. It was like a symbol for something else. N plus one, N plus two, N plus three, N plus four, N plus five. I don't think it really matters what type of student it is. I just think that if you learn the person's thinking and um, their thought patterns and you do it at an earlier age, then it'll just be easier because that's what happened with us. I think for people looking at the Tufts Turk Early Algebra Project from the outside, there's two kinds of takeaways that they might have. The first is that doing these sorts of activities with students in elementary schools absolutely makes a difference. And then having the follow-up time that we've done with them in the camps makes a difference to them as well. So it might be the second part of that is that hopefully they'll see from some of our videos that 
the students get really excited about math and they show both their understanding and also their enthusiasm. Bam! Quiet. Bam! Quiet. Quiet. The great Swami's here.